Next thing I want to show is like how a search engine sees a website, or Google, how Google sees a website. So I'm going to throw in a website here, and I kind of just picked this uh, Arby's.com. Sites like this, companies like this, they, uh, they have their brand to follow on, so their websites usually aren't very optimized. Uh, let me actually show it to you from the actual site itself first. So here comes the website. If the hotel's connection wasn't so slow. <laughs> Maybe it's because you guys are all tweeting over here. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> all right. Well, let me talk about this tool a little bit. What this tool does is seobrowser.com. I like to use it. It's really simple to uh, URL, so it's really easy to remember. There's a lot of tools out here like this, but this is my favorite. What it does is it basically shows you what a web page looks like to a search engine. A search engine is just a robot, so it can't see images, flash, it's just going to strip it down to the basic core elements that are there and that and it has to use that to translate what the page is about. Let's see if Arby's finished loading here. All right, so here's their website. As you can see, they got their navigation at the top uh, and then they have their big flash image here and these are all neat little animations and there's some more, more images down here. I mean, this. It works for them because they're, they're, brand, they're a big brand and they're probably not really interested in optimizing their website. It's, so this is where small businesses really have an advantage. Uh, these big companies don't really, aren't really thinking about SEO in most places. So if you have a niche or a small business, you can really use SEO to your advantage to rank up there with those big names. Um, so let's show what this, see what this website looks like to a search engine. So I put in Arby's.com into this tool, and down below here, this is what it looks like to a search engine. Uh, Arby's, this is, I'm guessing, the logo at the top left, and then all it sees after that, it doesn't see any of the flash. It just sees privacy policy, FAQ. So if we go back to Arby's, I'll show you where that is. So here it is, privacy policy, FAQs, about Arby's. So to a search engine, it doesn't, they don't see any of these pictures, they don't see this text, they don't see that. So one thing we, you need to do when you're designing your website is to make sure you're using text and you know, basic HTML text. And you can use images and flash, but you've got to use it in moderation.